What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna to give you the real review of the Cujo Yardwear shoes. Are they worth it? Stay tuned, find out. All right guys, when it comes to yardwear, doing a lot, being on your feet a lot, everything we all know in any industry is comfort. When I seen a lot of people buying these shoes and ranting and raving about them, of course, the first thing I wanted to do was jump on them. If you watch me on Instagram, I posted an Instagram post and I asked, hey, I've heard horror stories about these shoes. I've also heard great things about these shoes. And I got plenty of opinions on them. And so I decided to reach out to Cujo Yardware and ask them to send me a pair. And so about almost 10 months ago, Cujo sent me a pair of these shoes and I told them from the get-go please understand that I'm going to put these shoes through the ringer and let my audience know what I really think about them before I do a review so don't expect one within a month or two so guys it's been 10 months I've had these shoes uh, if you can't tell there's still grassy stuff coming out of them from where I haven't really emptied them uh, let's talk about these shoes they brand these shoes as a shoe that fits like a boot um, I've seen reviews of people that say they're hard to get on the thing is guys is when you put boots on you unlace your boots to put them on same thing with these shoes uh, I unlace two laces I actually just pull them to loosen them up like that open them up pull my tongue up I've got plenty of room my foot slides right in guess what I pull them I tighten them up lightweight they're very lightweight for y'all that know me know I love my K Swiss shoes they are very very comfortable to me and I have two pair of K Swisses uh, I had one pair that I did lawn care in and I've got a pair that's a good pair that I wear on my feet uh, when after about four months of wearing these I threw my case whistles away and that is an honest fact uh, these things here's the soles 10 months worth of walking uh, concrete doing mulch doing yard work uh, you just everything you could think of these things have made it and the soles still look good my soles are not coming apart anywhere these are still very well much intact just like they were the day i got them uh, the only thing they are is a lot dirtier but for y'all that know me you may say them are real clean to be working in but uh for the people that know me and know me pretty well they know i keep my stuff pretty clean uh it's just an ocd thing of mine so these do get wiped off very very frequently because that's just how i am let's talk about the soles uh, the soles in these to this day are still very comfortable they still push down and you can still feel the padding in them push back up on you these are very comfortable shoes guys the soles the inserts everything is comfortable about these shoes if you are too lazy to untie if these shoes like you would your boots these are not for you uh, if you're looking for something comfortable lightweight and that are going to get you through and at the end of the day you're not freaking tired i'm 260 pounds these are the shoes these shoes are great absolutely great at the end of the day with my case swisses well i was tired i didn't even want to do another property by the time six hours was over like I didn't want to continue with these my feet are still refreshed they're breathable mesh on the sides let's air in and absolutely love these things uh, a lot of people will tell you in their review these shoes are waterproof i have seen people tell you they are waterproof one thing to get out of the way right now the only thing waterproof on these shoes guys is this front part right here if you're walking through a bunch of wet grass a lot of wet grass uh dewy mornings light dew 
they're good as long as you know most of the moisture is going here once that moisture starts getting here or on the side of these shoes your socks are going to get a little bit wet depending on how much dew is on the ground so let's get that out of the way these are not waterproof they are water resistant to a certain extent 120 dollars for these shoes then you know there are codes out there i do have a code that i will give you uh, it is lanier 10 save 10 percent uh, off these shoes 12 bucks and uh, see what you think about them honestly I love these shoes and I waited 10 months to do this review for y'all. So uh, that's about all I can say about them. Um, I absolutely, really honestly do like these shoes. I find during the summer months, these are great. During the spring and fall months, when it's a little dewy out, a little colder out, then I'll, I wear my boots. I'm gonna be honest with you. But as soon as the temperatures start warming up, Cujo's is where, where I go. And uh, so I do want to say thanks to Cujo for sending me these out. Thank you for waiting so long and letting me actually try these out to before I did my review. If y'all have any questions, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you have any issues with your Cujos, reach out to them. Sean's a real great person and uh, they really do try to take care of you. For all you fanatics that's been wanting still towed, well, guess what? They've been listening to you and they will uh, be coming out with one of them eventually soon. So thanks for watching guys. I'll put the link down below, give you a discount code down below too if you're interested. But I just wanted to give y'all the real review of these shoes and let you know exactly what I thought about them and how I felt about them. Let you know about the, uh, put them on especially. It's gonna take you three or four days to break these in. Yes, that's a for sure, but remember, you're gonna to have to unlace them in order to get them on. They're not just gonna even after 10 months, I still have to unlace them to get them on. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you soon.